guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian Africa Boxing. Please, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. And also, go to the notification bell icon, click it, and select all to the rapid banger and you as the video definitely be notified. Well, it is fight week. We all know that uh, the former Unified Way King of the Universe, and Joshua, will be going against the the undisputed, I would say, the linear undisputed heavyweight champion, um, the UFC. Um, in Francis Gano. So there has been this week, Friday eighth of March. Um, all things will be decided. Um, it's gonna be a lot of uh, opinion before then. People are going to change their predictions. Some were saying, listen, this is a 55 for Joshua. Later, as the fight builds up, as as the fight gets closer, people are beginning to change their tune and begin to like have some sort of other opinion about the fight. Listen, I will tell you right now, this fight is a very interesting fight. Ngano, whom I see as one of the most humble athletes ever. Has been very vocal, you know, and uh, he's been very active on social on social media, like giving a lot of uh, interviews to to uh, a lot of uh, platforms. And he says something very interesting that really um, made me a little bit, you know, I don't know, made me shake my a little bit. He said right here to a podcast, one of the um, top leading podcasts in the UK. He said right here, I quote, "We don't know the strength." Of Anthony Joshua, I don't believe he has that strength. I'm going to be the one taking his soul. Ungano, in other words, Ungano feels that like Joshua doesn't possess any any threat towards him. Ungano believes in his chin, believes in his, uh, his, his strength, believe in his uh, invisibility, because Ungano have been through everything. This guy literally came all the way from Cameroon you know to Europe by land bro you know how crazy that is do you know how how did not you just stress the hunger the, the things he's seen so you have to understand that this guy is coming from a place of nothing can actually face him however he's forgetting something he's an MMA fighter not a pro boxer yes he dropped Tyson Fury. Yes, we didn't, we, didn't, we didn't expect to see that. But who hasn't dropped Fury? Fury got dropped by a uh, cruiserweight in Steve Cunningham. Are we guys forgetting that? Fury has been dropped by people you didn't expect to, be, to, to, to drop him. Okay? But I will give him Gano huge credit because the punch he dropped Fury with wasn't really it didn't really land clean it was just it landed a little bit and that made me respect Ungano's power because you can tell that this guy has a lot of power um his strength is is, is like Fury couldn't arrest this guy he Fury wanted to dominate Ungano on the inside he couldn't do that because Ungano is a, is a very strong guy this guy literally came from the sun mines of Cameroon what 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 that tells us is that this guy is naturally strong. Is is like I don't know why this fight is not a twelve round fight because I think Ngano can do twelve round. But I do think though. I mean, I haven't seen some of his fights in in, uh, in MMA and stuff like that. He tend to gas out sometimes, but don't let that trick you. Ngano sometimes you you can tell that he's gassing out, but he will still have the strength to knock you out if you give him the opportunity to do that. Facts. Now, Gano being cocky now, saying that he doesn't believe in Joshua like uh, strength. He's, he, he, he's viewing Joshua as food because he's always said, yeah, he's always respected a Fury and not really giving Joshua credit. I think come Friday night, he will know that this is a, this is a Joshua that Joshua that is a new Joshua bro it's like a 
a whole Joshua back. Let's not need a whole Joshua back because the new Joshua didn't really do well. The new Joshua was very cautious. The new Joshua didn't uh, take a lot of risk uh, ever since he lost to Andrews Jr. But the whole Joshua was a brutal, brutal warrior. He was an animal, bro. He was fearless. He took punches. He took heavy shots and gave, and re and gave his own as well. That is how he beat Klitschko. If the new Joshua fought Klitschko, I think he, 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 could have been, he would have been knocked out by Klitschko. Facts. Immediately Klitschko dropped him. Joshua was gassed out. If the old Joshua wasn't there, if he didn't find the will, you know, the resilience in him to come off the floor and stop Klitschko in the level run in that epic fight they had, you know, in, in uh, at um, London... Uh, at uh, London Stadium, okay. You can actually see how determined Joshua was at that point. Now is 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 got that back. Ngano, how does Joshua beat Ngano? Okay, Ngano has when listen. You have to understand that this guy has been this Ngano can do a bare knuckle fight. And you heal him with everything you got, he would likely survive it. But this guy is a very naturally strong guy. But Ngano's weakness, I think, is is a, is in the body. Joshua might not. Joshua might not be able to knock Ngano out flush. You know, by if he targets his head, he might not be able to do that because even Fury used an elbow to try break Ngano's jaw and stop him. Ngano took it like as if as if nothing really happened. There was as if, he just took it like that, bro. That surprised me. But nobody is invi nobody is invincible. It's a fight game. These men hit very hard. Ngano has never been punched by a monster like Anthony Joshua. Facts. And Joshua hasn't taken a uh, hasn't been punched by someone like Ngano. However, Joshua can. I hope Joshua can prepare on seeing that coming. And Joshua should shouldn't be cautious in this fight. You know, don't lose rounds just because you want to be cautious. Don't lose rounds. That's why I'm going to tell Joshua, don't lose rounds. It's a terror fight. If if you lose, if you give up rounds willingly, let's say you give up three, four, five rounds, and you want to come back in the fifth round, Ngano, that might make Ngano even more dangerous. He will say, oh, no, you need to win this round. Now, let's dance. That becomes a big problem. So Joshua should fight. The Joshua that fought Otto Wally should go in there and fight. Be, be, be very aware defensively of what's coming back. Because Ngano hits very hard. But his speed and timing... He's that of an amateur amateur uh, boxer. He's at, he's at that level. Okay? That's what I have to say. God is inspiring a lot of monsters. Not that the guy is naturally strong. This is a fight that, you know, that can go that can go either way. But I think the two time unified every king of the universe of the Joshua will find a way to do some damage to God. Okay, Gano can as well cash Anthony Joshua. I'll be very listen. I love those guys. Uh, these are two African guys. Gano born and bred in Cameroon. Joshua born in the UK, born and bred in the UK. Uh, two Nigerian uh, parents. So Gano is more is more gr like I can relate more to Gano than I can relate to Joshua because I grew up in Nigeria, born born and bred in Nigeria, and you know already like the struggle. Now. But Joshua also come from a different struggle, not that, not not like that of Ugano, not even not even close, bruv. not even close. So the Nigerian me, I'm going uh, uh, Niger, uh, I'm going uh, Joshua to win. I'm going for Joshua to win this fight. But looking really looking at it, um, if Ugano wins, I won't be mad. So it just depends on what Joshua does or who what Joshua shows up. But Ugano should not win this fight. Because if he wins, Joshua basically Joshua's uh, legacy would be it would be questionable. 
a lot of people are going to go, even though it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be like that but i know so many haters especially from the british media who want Joshua to lose this fight who are already trying to change their turn and saying they like joshua on the name of seeing joshua look same thing happened when joshua lost to Andrew Ridgido. Although they didn't see that they didn't see that coming but i can assure you that a lot of the british media are waiting to see joshua lose but i believe joshua will come through he's done it before he can do it again he's a man with a lot of domination a lot of ring iq and this is a far right year because ngano we still don't know who ngano, ngano is as a boxer you can say yeah we've seen the the fury fight he switched to sat you know from sat from autos to sat he was like very very well disciplined determined um he dropped fury they didn't rush like that's what that's like he fought very clean they didn't do any dirty tricks of course he threw a superman punch after fury uh through the elbow or something like that like however at the stage Ngono is right now he shouldn't be beating the guy like this and joshua should approach this fight with caution but approach it with aggression he has to target that body Ngano, we've seen the videos being punched by people to the body and still like but he has to target that body because if he doesn't if he just targets the, listen if he targets the head alone that wouldn't do the trick that body has to be broken down and afterwards you chop that body down because there is nothing Gano is afraid of nothing in this nothing in this nothing in this life or in this world scale of Gano. bro this guy has seen everything this guy came from the gutters I, when i say the gutters he came from the gutters okay basically from zero so he was in a desert for how many days firstly 30 days this guy was has been has seen he's seen death and back so there's nothing can scare this guy however you can break his will and that is starting from the from the body joshua has to start from the body break ngano's body down then you slowly climb up if there's the time because it's a, it's a 10 round fight so probably don't have a lot a lot of time but if even if joshua wins this fight uh bad decision joshua has to dominate this fight you know it's gonna be interesting though and i see joshua is very confident gano is talking a lot gano usually is very quiet doesn't talk a lot but because he sees joshua as food he thinks joshua is food because a lot of people are saying joshua is not good joshua because of josh because the new joshua really ruined um the the whole joshua's reputation people started to see joshua a little bit different but joshua used to be very just be very like um like he had that 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 horror about him that 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 you know when you hear the name of like joshua you, you hear the name of a beast now it's not like that anymore people are seeing him as soft even uh, a colleague of mine uh is saying um uh, a colleague of mine is saying that joshua has become soft and stuff like that i say listen we are yet to see the best of joshua so yeah but uh, this guy is he, he, he's afraid now well friday is very listen tomorrow is tuesday right before you know it we're we're on, we're, we're, we're on friday i cannot wait for this fight i would definitely talk uh, look like i'll be here to cover the fight in fact i will cover the fight every day now so um because we need to break down the fight break it down and also the um jang jilei and joseph parker fight that's another monster fight there are other fights on the undercard that we need to also watch out for you know because the in Ghana, because the card is stacked basically it is very stacked and i'm very i'm happy that saudi arabia are putting in most of our bruv without saudi i don't know where box will be by now because i'm very sure that the Ghana joshua fight wouldn't be happening if not for saudi saudi 
Turk, uh, it's SLSE Turkey Alashik. I've done a lot for boxes. We hope to see more. Let's not forget that more block boxes are coming. I can't wait. What do you guys take on Ngano's um, statement regarding to Joshua saying that Joshua um, is weak? Basically saying he don't believe Joshua has that strength. And that um, um, he's going to take Joshua's soul. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, come Friday night. Can't wait, guys. Like the video, share, subscribe. And God bless you all for always supporting the channel. Cheers. See you in the next one.